Hi, welcome back. I'm scientist Kate. This is Kindergarten, Sunlight and Weather, Lesson 1.2, Part 2, Introducing Temperature. For this lesson, all you're going to need is a creative, excited science mind. Are you ready to do some science learning today? Great! Let's go! Do you remember our last lesson? We read the book, What is the Weather Like Today? And we talked about different ways that we can describe temperature. Do you remember that temperature means how hot or cold something is? Great. So today we're going to talk a little bit more about temperature. But before we do, I want you to think back to the book we read last time. There were four words that we learned that we can use to describe temperature. Do you remember what they are? If you need help, you can look up at this picture clue to help you remember the first one. Say them out loud when you think of them. Great, here they are. In this picture, we're seeing cold. Brrr. In this picture, do you remember what temperature word we said went with this picture? Yeah, cool. What about this one? Yeah, warm. And what about this picture? Yeah, that picture shows hot. Great job. Okay, so describing the temperature can sometimes be challenging. People don't always agree on what the temperature is. Let me give you an example. A few days ago, I was going to go to a birthday party. And I was wondering what the temperature might be like at this outside birthday party. So I called up a couple of my friends to ask them what they were going to wear because of the temperature. And here's what happened. This is my friend Mashery. When I called Mashery, I said, what are you going to wear to the party tonight? And she said, well, I went outside earlier and it feels warm to me. I'm going to wear a dress and open toed shoes. And I said, OK, Mashery, thanks so much for telling me what you're going to wear and what the temperature feels like. I hung up the phone and I called another friend who was going to the party. This is my friend Brooke. You can see she's dressed really differently from Mashery. She's wearing a jacket, long pants and closed shoes. And I said, Brooke, what do you think the weather is like today? And she said, I went outside and it feels cool. I was so confused. Mashery said it feels warm and Brooke said it feels cool. What should I decide to wear to the party? Well, scientists have a way to help solve problems like this. They use tools to help them measure and describe things. This tool in the picture is called a thermometer. Scientists use it to measure and describe temperature. Have you ever heard of a thermometer before? Sometimes when I was a little girl and I felt sick, my grandma would put a thermometer like this into my mouth to take my body's temperature. Have you ever seen a thermometer like this one? Cool. This type of thermometer is used to measure food. You can stick that long part down into like hamburgers or meat or different types of food to see if it's cooked to the right temperature. Have you ever seen a thermometer for food before? Look at this thermometer. Have you ever seen a thermometer that looks like this one? That's a thermometer that measures the temperature of the air around us. So this thermometer might be really helpful for me to figure out what the temperature is and check it out. I have my own big thermometer. On the back, there's a part where air can get in and then the thermometer works by telling me a number that helps me figure out what the temperature is and that helps me figure out what I should wear. So today we are gonna be using a thermometer that looks like this, the one in the picture. The colors on the thermometer will help tell us what temperature something is. So I'm gonna use my mouse here 
to point to the different colors and let's read them together. At the top of the thermometer says very hot. The orange says hot. The yellow says warm. The green says cool. The blue says cold. And the purple all the way down here at the bottom says very cold. So we're going from very hot all the way down to very cold on our thermometer that we're going to use today. There's also numbers on the thermometer. The numbers are gonna change color too. And the numbers, if we pay attention to them, will tell us what type of temperature it is. So we have to really look and pay attention to the numbers as they change color. Today, we will use thermometers to measure the temperature of water in two cups, but we are gonna make predictions before we measure. Then we will measure the temperature of each cup of water, and then we're gonna record our answer. So, are you ready to make predictions? Remember, a prediction is an idea that you have before you do an investigation. So we are going to make our predictions first. I have two cups of water. Let's make an observation of these cups of water. This cup of water is the first one that we will measure. I'll hold it up so you can really see it. What does it look like to you? Do you think it feels hot or cold? or warm or cool. Imagine putting your finger into this cup of water. What do you think you might feel? It's kind of hard to tell, isn't it? Okay, here's cup number two. Look at cup number two. What do you notice about it? You make observations. You put your finger down into it. Do you think it would feel warm or cool? Hmm. I like that you're sharing your ideas. Okay, now we're going to do the investigation. This is the first cup and this is the second cup. I'm going to take the thermometer and the thermometer, this particular thermometer is sticky on the back and I'm gonna stick it right here onto the cup And this cup, or this cup, this thermometer is also sticky and I'm gonna stick it onto this cup. Now, here's something you should know about thermometers. They don't work instantly. They don't work just like that. They take a little bit of time in order to measure the temperature. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to give this a few minutes and then we will come back together and make an observation to see if our predictions were correct. It doesn't make sense. Okay, welcome back. I've given the cups of water a couple of minutes to sit with the thermometers so that their correct temperatures can be shown on the thermometer. The thermometers had time to do its job. So let's zoom in and see if our predictions were correct. So this is cup number one. Try to think back to the prediction you made about its temperature. Do you remember? Okay, let's read the thermometer. So can you see where some numbers on this have color around them? Yeah, way down here at the bottom, we can see that numbers 10 and 12 have color around them. And that tells us that the water inside is very cold. Did you guess that the water was very cold? It's okay if you didn't guess very cold as your prediction. Scientists make predictions all the time that turn out to not be correct, so it's okay. Besides, I put an ice cube in here and didn't tell you, so maybe that's why you didn't know that it was very cold. Okay, so Let's record our observations for cup one. When we look at cup one, was it very hot, hot, warm, cool,
cold or very cold. Point to the screen to which description of temperature matches cup one. Awesome. It's very cold. Okay, let's check on cup number two. Do you remember your prediction for cup number two? Okay, let's see if you are close. Here's the thermometer. Do you see the number that has color around it? Yeah, it's number 24. And if we look at the color next to it, do you know what that word says? Warm. Did you predict that the water in cup two would be warm? If you did, cool. If you didn't make that prediction, that's okay. Scientists make incorrect predictions all the time. It's part of science. Okay, so let's record our um, observation of cup number two. Was cup number two very hot? Hot, warm, cool, cold, or very cold? Point to the screen to the temperature description that matches cup number two. Great, it was warm. Now, in this lesson, we read what is the weather like today? Do you remember what we learned in the first part of the lesson from the book? Tell me what we learned. Great ideas. In this book, we learned that there are all sorts of different types of temperature. It can be hot, warm, cool, or cold. And we need to change the clothes that we wear so we can be comfortable in those different temperatures. What did we learn from the cup investigation today? You can tell me. Yeah, we can use a tool called a thermometer and a thermometer can tell us exactly what temperature something is so that to someone who something feels warm, sometimes to someone something feels cool, we can have an actual very clear answer by using a tool called a thermometer. And there can be lots of different types of thermometers. Great. So last time we recorded what we learned about different types of weather, sunny, cloudy, rainy, windy, snowy, remember? Now we know temperature is a part of weather too, and that we can use temperature to help us describe the weather. Weather can be sunny, cloudy, windy, rainy, snowy, and different temperatures. Weather is what is happening outside with the air and the sky and the temperature all together. What is the weather like where you are today? Take a look outside or even go outside with an adult and make an observation about the weather when this lesson is over. Okay, here's our new ideas for today that we just got in our brain. Weather can be sunny, cloudy, windy, rainy, and snowy. We know that, we learned that from Ms. Diaz. Number two, weather can have different temperatures like cold, cool, warm, and hot. And number three, weather scientists use tools called thermometers to describe the temperature. Great job. All right. I want you to find somebody in your house and I want you to share a new idea that you learned today, okay? And that's the end. We will see you next time. Have a great day and stay curious. Bye.